plows ramming into mailboxes, one of many signs of the dangers and headaches still being felt tonight after the storm. TV 1055's Brian Connie Bear is live in Manalpa, New Jersey, with more for us tonight. Brian. Well, Alice, the storm is long over, but the damage was already done here on Thoreau Drive in Manalip. And dozens of mailboxes right at the curbside, like this one behind me, were completely destroyed by snow plows. And that's not the only lingering problem. This is what Andrew Hartung's $150 mailbox looks like after Tuesday's snowstorm. I uh, couldn't believe what happened. And this is how he says it happened. Surveillance video captured a Manalapan Township snowplow passing his home, destroying the mailbox during the height of the blizzard. See this plow hauling butt down the street, and uh, I'm like, what the, what's this guy doing? Turns out it happened to 50 to 75 mailboxes Tuesday, according to the Manalapan DPW director. It's not something we're certainly trying to do. But he says the heavy ice and snow wasn't easy to clear. The damage to the mailboxes, if that's the worst thing that happens, I apologize, but that's, you know, the, the more important that there, there were no injuries, there was no accidents. Another danger we're still dealing with days later, ice and snow flying off of vehicles. It's very sudden. It came out of nowhere. This is what happened to Greg Hecht and Cheryl Yee of Somerset County, New Jersey, on the Pennsylvania Turnpike near King of Prussia Wednesday. We look over to the right, and there's a large chunk of ice, probably the size of a football, sticking through my windshield, just half in, half out. Laws in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Connecticut require drivers to clear off their cars, but not in New York. All across the city, people are struggling to clear away the icy mess. Sanitation crews were out in force preparing for the St. Patrick's Day parade, an army of snow removers clearing Fifth Avenue, but not getting much help from Mother Nature. The challenge with us this year is that, you know, a March storm usually brings favorable weather afterwards, favorable temperatures. We're not getting that. We've stayed in the teens, we've stayed in the 20s. And it is still cold out here, so it'll be a while before it all melts. Now, back uh, melts, that is, back on Thoreau Drive about those mailboxes. Anyone here in Manalapan who had their mailbox taken out by a snowplow can get $50 toward replacement and repair costs from the township. We're live in Manalapan, New Jersey. Brian Connie Bear, TV 1055.